So I decided to make my own chatbot assistant that could be accessed through Windows Terminal and that can understand human language and do simple tasks like adding, removing, to-dos or reminders for me. Now the idea may sound really stupid to you but I've spent days working on it so let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we're gonna do is install Rasa on our system. To use Rasa, I'm going to be installing Python 3.7 on the Anaconda environment that I've created. Rasa is an open source Python library that you can use to create conversational AIs. So after spending like 100 hours on installing Rasa, I finally got it installed and created a new project and trained the model. Once the bot was done training, I took a free therapy session from the bot, told it about all of my depressive issues and the bot sent me an image of a cat, which kind of fixed my depression. So now that we have established that Rasa bots can fix depression, the next thing that we should do is to focus on a project and try to make an assistant. So I did the most programmer thing ever by going into Google and searching for random stuff. And while I was doing that, I faced the biggest challenge of this project until now. At this point, I had completely given up on all the hopes of making my own assistant. But still, I decided to give it a try. So I started finding all the traffic lights and crosswalks in those images. Then I found this really cool tutorial that talked about intent, entities, actions and rules in Rasa. And once I was done reading the entire article, it was time to code. So the basic idea behind what I'm trying to code right now is very simple. When a user provides the bot with a sentence, the bot will extract two things from the sentence namely intent and entity, which in this case is show to do and now. Now I have written some rules in the bot. Based on those rules, bot will decide what to do with the current intent entity pair. So for example, if the intent is to show to do, then the bot will run an action that will make a post request to the API and get the to dos from the database. And I don't think I need to talk about the backend API, it's just a simple ExpressJS server that connects to MongoDB database and provides the basic CRUD operations. After watching the model train, I started the bot server and tested it out. First I asked the bot to add a new to-do. The bot was able to add the to-do to the database. Then I tried to trick the bot by asking a more vague question, but the bot was pretty smart and figured out that I didn't provide the time frame, so it asked me for the time frame. In the last example, however, the bot wasn't able to understand that I provided the ID right in the sentence, but I guess that could be fixed easily by providing more examples or training for a longer period of time. At this point, there was only one last thing that we needed to do, which was to host the server and the bot online. So I bought two EC2 instances and hosted the model and the server separately. Then I wrote a JS script, which has an infinite loop and it waits for the response from the user, takes the response, sends it to the hosted model. Now, the only thing that we need to do is to create a batch file that would run this script and set the path of this batch file as an environment variable. And we're done. So this was a really stupid project that I worked on during my end semester examinations. If you enjoyed the video then please like the video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of such content. I will be streaming every single day in the next month and I will also be uploading a few more videos in the upcoming months. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. <laughs>